So you just bought a Kicker KMC3 Media Center. We're going to show you what all the connections are for and how to operate it. Connecting your KMC3 is very simple. You have your main power harness, which features a red 12 volt switched wire, an orange illumination input, a blue switched output to trigger your amplifier to turn on and off, and of course the ground wire. On the reverse side, we have all four speaker outputs at 25 watts per channel. It also features a 2.5 volt RCA preamp output, your traditional antenna jack, a USB input, an analog remote input that's gonna allow it to connect to the KRC12, and an RCA auxiliary input. So as you can see, very simple to connect. All Kicker Media Centers come with your choice of a black or a chrome trim ring. For this instance, we're gonna use the black trim ring. Once it's mounted, it just snaps over the face of the unit. Operation of the KMC3 is very simple. Pressing the source button one time will turn the unit on. Each additional press of the source unit will change the input source. Now it's in the Bluetooth pairing mode, or we have auxiliary. Holding the source button down will shut the unit off. Pressing the menu button will take you into the setup mode. It also has the Bluetooth reconnection. Now I can program the beep on or off by rotating the volume control. Pushing it again allows me to turn the loudness on and off. If you notice when the loudness is on, it will say loud on the display. You also have a USA or European tuner setting. Make sure if you're in the US that you leave it on the USA tuner setting. Therefore, you can pick up your favorite stations. To set the presets, you merely tune in your AM or FM station you desire to preset. Hold the preset button down it's now going to save to preset one, or I can pick any one of 18 different presets to store this. Let's store this in number three by pressing the volume control. Now, if you notice the three is illuminated, that's telling me I'm on preset three. If I go back to the preset mode, I can scroll between the various presets and you see FM 97.7 is still on the third preset. Pushing the volume control button in will take me into the bass, which we adjust with the volume control treble, balance left, balance right, fader, and the pre-programmed equalizer settings. So now as I turn the volume control, we have different settings for the equalizer. So you have an EQ for user where I set the bass and treble, a classical setting, and by pushing the control I can see it has adjusted the bass and treble, and it says classical on the display. If we go to the rock setting, if you notice the bass and treble are set completely different. Or if I choose to do so, I can set the EQ to flat. The three buttons on the right side of the volume control are the tuning and track up, tuning and track down, and play pause, or when you're in FM, it becomes mute. So to tune up in station, I push the button and hold it one time. It will scroll up. To stop it, we press it one more time. The track down button does exactly the same. Stop it, push and hold for manual tuning. Now if you notice, I can tune down manually and I can tune up manually. Once I release the button and wait for two seconds, it will return to automatic tuning mode. Thank you for watching this video on the Kicker KMC3 Media Center. Now you know how to connect it and how to operate it.